Hi everyone, this is Urantian Artist presenting the second episode of our podcast. And today's podcast is on the subject of music. And in the Urantian Revelation, we find 29 places where it talks about, writes about, music. To begin, I would like to read uh, one of the special quotes in the Urantia Revelation that talks about music. There is a great and glorious purpose in the march of the universes through space. All of your mortal struggling is not in vain. We are all part of an immense plan, a gigantic enterprise, and it is the vastness of the undertaking that renders it impossible to see very much of it at any one time and during any one life. We are all a part of an eternal project which the gods are supervising and outworking. The whole marvelous and universal mechanism moves on majestically through space to the music of the meter of the infinite thought and the eternal purpose of the first great source and center. Callie, would you like to... Uh, yes, you're an um, artist. Thank you for reading that. It's one of my favorite ones about music. Do you mind if I read the definition of music? Please before do. we continue. Please do. Music. An art of sound and time that expresses ideas and emotions in significant form through the elements of rhythm, melody, harmony, and color. Oh, that's very good. Yes. And I was go, go ahead. Thank you. In paper forty four it speaks about music and harmony. Let me read from it. Harmony, the music of the seven levels of melodious association, is one of the universal code of spirit communication. You're an artist. Tell me about the significance of music. Well, um, just what that quote says, it is the communication yes. of... That's the way the gods communicate, is through their thoughts. It's mm. musical. Yes. And I noticed that as we read the Urantia Revelation, some of the uh, authors of the papers, mm. it's very poetic. It is poetic. Yes. 100%. This is and, what I've been thinking the whole time and, I'm reading. And it just, it's almost like music, you know? It's exactly like how music should be, perhaps. Right. You know, I was... In going with the whole music theme and rhythm and melody, I was reading a little bit further on even looking towards rhythm, and it was really interesting what it was saying. In paper 56, it says, Truth is the basis of science and philosophy, presenting the intellectual foundation of religion. Beauty sponsors art, music, and the meaningful rhythms of all human experience. Oh, that is uh, beautifully said. And uh, uh, there's a place, like last time we talked about the voice of uh, Christ Michael yes. when he was immortal. And uh, there is a paragraph, which I'll just read part, uh, that um, speaks of, uh, tells about the year that he attained his full physical growth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it is on paper 127, and it says, This year he, Jesus, attained his full physical growth. He was a virile and com comely youth. He became increasingly sober and serious, but he was kind and sympathetic. His eye was kind but searching. His smile was always engaging and reassuring. His voice was musical but authoritative. 
his greeting cordial but unaffected. Always, even in the most commonplace of contacts, there seemed to be an evidence, the touch of a twofold nature, the human and the divine. Ever he displayed this combination of the sympathizing friend and the authoritative teacher. And these personality traits began early to become manifest even in these adolescent years. And I, to me, I thought that was interesting how all of these things about how we, how we speak and act is about music. Thank you, Ranjan Artist, for reading that for us. You know, it's just such a interesting combination to read about music and rhythm and Heavenly Father and the way he's creating the universes, you know, all the different systems that go into just our being itself, you know. It's like, that's a musical score in itself, you know, we have our mind, we have our physical body, we have our thought adjuster, we have spirit of truth, and it's like all of these different elements, our personality, all of these different elements coming together like an orchestra, and yet it's one person playing all of these different parts with different entities and and spiritual channels supporting us and helping us the whole way throughout our ascension. There was another little part that I wanted to read and um, let's see here. It's in 44, paper 44. Beauty, rhythm, and harmony are intellectually associated and spiritually akin. Truth, fact, and relationship are intellectually inseparable and associated with the phil philosophic concepts of beauty, goodness, and righteousness. Now, I know there's a place yes. where it talks about um, the orchestra that you just mentioned. Because and, it's uh, such an orchestra that's happening, isn't yeah, that right? right? You're not an artist. Yes. So the question is, because it's about music, because it's about harmony, because it's about rhythm, because Heavenly Father is setting the pace, he's setting the meter, right, that we, that the universe moves to, that Christ Michael works in, that we are trying to now survive here on earth and ascend, it's all in some sort of pattern. And, and there on uh, paper uh, 48, yes. it says righteousness strikes the harmony chords of truth and the melody vibrates throughout the cosmos, even to the recognition of the infinite. That's pretty powerful. Um, Definitely does. You know, reading a little bit more about rhythm, it says here that rhythm can be thought of as how you inhabit the beat. It's what happens when you combine different notes of different durations. In essence, a music's piece, beat, is its unchanging tempo, while the rhythm is a pattern in which a piece's notes flow. Hmm. Just seeing the way time, time is a part of the rhythm, time is a part of the music, uh -huh. at least it is for us. Right. Time is the way that we are moving through this experience. Mm -hmm. And so one could nearly say that if time is the rhythm, mm -hmm. what is music then? Is that how we're living? Is that the art of life? Is that the music? Because you're thinking about music is it stirs something in your emotions. Music mm -hmm. is about your senses. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to... What? You have to hear music, you have to feel music. That's right. You know? How, how else can music influence you? But through your senses, right? Yeah. And maybe it's senses that we're not even aware of, you know? It's, it's our alignment with our thought adjuster that we're trying to hear better, hear the music, perhaps that our thought adjuster is trying to play for us right, right. to hear what Heavenly Father is saying and 
in the personality circuit when we're worshiping? Can mm -hmm. we hear the music from the Father? What is he saying to us? Mm -hmm. Can we hear the spirit of truth? Music, rhythm, melody. What are your thoughts on melody? You're an ancient artist. Well, uh, again, there's a wonderful quote in the Urantia Revelation that says, Melody has power a whole world to transform forever. Music will remain the universal language of men, angels, and spirits. Harmony is the speech of Havana. That's beautiful. I wish we had that now. Here's the question, your ancient artist. Do we have to wait for all this? Well, I don't think we do because uh, we are meant to begin now on this earth to, to learn that from Heavenly Father's Spirit within us. And uh, the more we ask to be with Him, the more we dedicate our will to wanting to do His will, which is to help us to grow spiritually and to desire eternal life. And I think He will begin to teach us and we will um, respond. I suppose, first of all, we'll be responding to that which is musical. Just like when we read the, um, the papers written by um, well, the mighty messenger. They are you talking about poet poets? Yes, yeah. I mean, I love solitary messengers, yes, universal solitary. sensors, definitely mighty messengers, one hundred percent. I mean, it's one hundred percent poetry. That's what I've been saying from the beginning. That's what grabbed me so much is how beautiful it is, right. and how you can almost sing it. That's yeah, right. I mean, singing in my mind when I'm reading it. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Just the flow of everything, you know. And uh, I, I met one of the Urantia students years ago, mm -hmm. and he said uh, that when he reads the Revelation, and it's telling about the potential that we have, he said, it just sings, you know. <laughs> and he used those words that it's um, that it sings. And I always. You remember that? Definitely. I mean, I think the, one of the key parts, I mean, of music is you have to listen, you know, mm -hmm. and it's there's nothing better when something beautiful comes on and you can turn it up right. and just let it kind of just envelop you. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere. It's up, down. It's all around you. You know, music is in the air. It fills everything. It's like... It's like something that fills everything, but you can't see it, but you can hear it and feel it. And when you do hear Heavenly Father's music, when you do hear Christ Michael's music, when you do hear the harmony from your thought adjuster, mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, what is more beautiful than that, your ancient artist? Really, it, it is so beautiful. And, uh, of course, we have the contrasting type of music. Yes. It's very primitive mm. and um, um, monotonous. Yes. And it kind of creates tension when I hear this. Yes. Even when you're describing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we've all heard that, those kind of things. Cause that's I heard it just often, today. Often um, the thing that's on the internet, you know, for us to hear, yes. and uh, and it is, it's just not music as our Heavenly Father wants it to be. Here's the music I want to hear, I want to hear, it's like when you're praying, there's a certain kind of music, or when you're aligned, or when you're connected, mm -hmm. um, when you're in Heavenly Father's personality circuit, worshiping, I think there's some sort of, yes, rhythm. It's kind of like when you throw 
what is it when you throw a pebble into the ocean and it makes all these ripples? Oh, yeah. You know? uh-huh. And that's kind of like how praying is for me or worshiping where it's just like you throw one in and it just expands and expands and expands. It just doesn't ever end. You know, as far as you can see, if you have the patience to look, you'll see that ripple continue on and on. And mm-hmm. that just must be the kind of reaction that we're trying to somehow get by by hearing the music. And um, Kelly, I remember reading about um, when Jesus was young, how he just loved music. And he um, was able to get a harp. And they, they, uh, they said that um, the neighbors and friends would often come to the house to hear him really? play the harp. And, oh. uh, and then he also liked vocal music and organized some of the um, other young men mm-hmm. so that they could sing together. And then um, I have a really good place in when Jesus was um, on his two-year mission with Going It and Gain It, and that's in paper 132. And uh, that night as Going It listened to the recital of these experiences, that's Father, he said to Jesus good-naturedly, I propose to make a scholar or a businessman of my son, and now you start out to make a philosopher or a philanthropist of him. (laughs) And Jesus smilingly replied, Perhaps we will make him all four. Then can he enjoy a fourfold satisfaction in life as his ear for the recognition of human melody will be able to recognize four tones instead of one. Then said Gunnett, I perceive that you really are a philosopher. You must write a book for future generations. And Jesus replied, <laughs> Please, not a book. My mission is to live a life in this generation and for all generations I... But he stopped saying to Gunnett, my son, it is time to retire. <laughs> I think that's really precious. I really love that part. And the whole time that those three are all together. Really? Yeah. I just think, like, that I am that little boy sometimes, you know? That's me, you know? He's a me, you know? And then the other thought I've had is how Jesus is willing to be our tutor. Because mm. I used to think, oh, he was so blessed to have Yeah, I want Jesus him to be my tutor. Two. And so I... I uh, I thought, all I have to do is ask him, and he'll be my In other words, through the spirit of truth, yeah, he can be. And there was one time in my life when I was really had a marvelous spiritual experience when I did pray, will you, I prayed that Heavenly Father, at the time I wasn't even sure, There was a Heavenly Father that day. And I said, if you can hear me, will you be my teacher? And then, all of a sudden, I said, and teach me how to listen. Okay. And I think he has been my tutor Hmm. for a long time because of that. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Yorancha and Artis, for this time and the subject of music, rhythm, melody. Any closing thoughts as we wrap this? Well, our second episode. Yes, and I would uh, again like to thank you for listening to this uh, podcast and uh, uh, I pray that you have got some new thoughts and will look up the quotes and read more about them, and uh, that it will be a blessing to you to uh, hear these podcasts. Thank you very much.